Hello there everyone and welcome back to uh, this uh, Napoleon Total War vs. Campaign. Uh, I'm Lord John and my opponent is... McCabster. McCabster, yes. Otherwise known as McCabe. Hello everyone. Yeah, so uh, we had a quite large battle. The first real engagement, well it was the first engagement in between the French and the Austrian. Yep. And uh, it went, we went sort of, um, it was sort of a draw because no one really won that. I won the battle sort of because you were forced to leave yeah. the field. Yeah, uh, I didn't accomplish my objective. Yeah, but at the same time I took a lot of casualties and yeah, so I would it call it sort of... It was a senseless, yeah. senseless loss of life. Yeah, it was sort of a draw. Uh, although we have... Uh, uh, a bit of a thing happened in between here, between the last episode, and um, what happened is that after we finished the battle and we said goodbye and so on, um, we went would go on to save so we could continue another day, but since it wasn't my turn, we uh, decided that we would uh, we wouldn't really continue filming, but we would. McCabe would just end his turn. It would move over to me, and then I would be able to save. And we didn't think the air would do as much. Although maybe McCabe wants to uh, go ahead <laughs> yeah. and and say what yeah. actually happened. Uh, yeah, well, basically, uh, when we ended our turn, uh, my worst fears came to uh, fruition, and uh, the Venetians actually attacked me. And they took one of my territories, uh, so now I'm at war with uh, the great power of Venice and France, which is not good. Yeah, but, yeah I, I, that... I moved over the camera here, and as we can see, uh, this territory up here, Tient, was the one that fell. And uh, they have besieged uh, Mantua. They're sort of in the yes. center of, uh, of uh, this campaign. With a, which ha, ha, has a castle I, in it. I had a feeling uh, Venice was going to attack me by the way they were acting, but um, I was hoping they wouldn't do that. But uh, they did, so now I'm just going to have to suck it up and uh, deal with it. Yeah, I think what it might have been is the loss of men during our battle and in the um, power balance between Austria and Venice would shift. Uh, because I'm not sure what your um, status is, like the state when you go into diplomacy and check. So it might have fallen a few a few steps, and that's might might that might have been why. Oh, okay, I can't you're check. St no, still, fine. still, you are a moderate, but the I believe the uh, Venetians are at terrifying. So it might have been that. Uh, Plus the high the, the, difficulty. Do you want to make peace and have a trade agreement? <laughs> <laughs> no. Of course not. I'm, I'm looking to win this, of course. So, this plays r straight into my hand, even though the battle uh, didn't really accomplish any th direct victory for me. Uh, it has sort of, uh, in a secondary way, um, attributed to... Um, something that will uh, benefit me but yeah let's actually go into the stuff at hand so I'm gonna go ahead and move the guys that I have and first of all I'm gonna move this since Napoleon was damaged or he damaged since Napoleon was damaged um, since he was wounded um, this army is left without a general, so I'm just gonna move over this guy. And he's gonna move up and take control of that army. And then we're gonna take these guys and we're gonna try and destroy the Sied uh, the Piedmont Sardinia. We're gonna take them out for good. So I'm gonna move up there. And we've got this battle, three line infantry and a load of militia versus uh, line infantry. Mm 
<laughs> so we'll see here. What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be out resolve or are you gonna play it? It's about even strength wise. Around a thousand men. I've l I lost so and so, and they lost so and so. It wasn't really. It was. Uh, they outnumbered me about 200 men, almost. Marche! Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> great. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I. Venice, why did you do this to me? Oh, so stupid, so stupid. Um, go over there, yes. Um, upgrade anything? Still, this army is very weak, so I can't really move it. I do think McCabe's gonna fall back with this army. So I'm sort of safe there. And it's just about biding our time. I think McCabe will be falling back, and we will be able to just sweep across down here. And everything will be fine, and I do think that we'll be able to quickly move up and take these guys, guys out. Um, and we believe this army will be able to rejoin that one over there. Um, I don't really need that kind of road down there. And don't really need manufacturing. Hmm, minus happiness. How happy are oh, they happy enough? We can build one of those to make some money for us. And there I'm done. So I believe I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to you, McCabe, and let's see what might well, happen right. there. It's going to be interesting. I'm looking here at Manchu. I'm uh, sort of hoping that it's gonna be. They're gonna attack you. Rather than see, trying to siege you out, so there'll be a siege battle of that uh, castle. Yeah, I hope they they don't do that. Well, you're hoping that they'll j just keep sieging you, and you'll have to attack yeah. out. Yeah, because uh, I have I have reinforcements coming, so if ah. they can just hold out, hold out until my reinforcements get there, it, it will be, all will be well. But yeah, we'll see. They do have a higher rate of replenishment. I have well, I've done just about all I can do for now, so I'll toss it back to you. There we go. Very good. Let's see what the enemy is up to. Or the AI is up to. So oh, and of course, of course Parma is all <laughs> their allies. Oh, did, did they also declare war on you? No, I, I don't think they officially declared war on me, but they're acting kind of yeah, weird they, too. Yeah, they, they moved a few guys up to your border. Yeah, they're acting weird. Wait, wait where is this? What are you going to do, Venice? What are you going to do? We've got armed citizenry versus militia. Where is... what battle is this? I don't know, I'm, I'm on the... Uh, I hope we're not out of sync. Um, so, uh, small I'm star fort breach. Ah, it's the it's Manchua, is it? Well, right now, taking the, this I'm from you, screen. taking okay, this from you, uh, 
would be quite a substantial victory for me. If all for when it would, it would. And I didn't actually realize you didn't have a single proper unit station <laughs> there. And they they're all armed citizenry. And yeah. here we are on the field of battle. I'm in charge of yes. these Austrians. I mean, not Austrians, these uh, Viennese. <laughs> You're not in charge of us yet. Yeah, not yet. And um, we're attacking Mantua, which is only guarded by armed citizenry. Uh, although I only have Milita or militia, um, which isn't that much of a step up from armed citizenry. Although they do we'll have, see if we office, can hold they do out. have some fancy wigs right there, so I do believe that we're fancy enough to actually yes. take you out. But it's still it's still a fort. So yeah. Um I think we'll just go ahead and start. There's not much movements needed to be done. Marching up here through the rain. And somehow, of course, my militiamen have managed to blow a hole in your wall. Not entirely sure how they did that. I have no idea. Quite a substantial hole through the wall there. And here they are, the Austrian armed citizenry. Manning the walls here with a few cannons here and there. Ready to fire on us as we approach. So we're moving up here in good order. I don't think that his armed citizenry is nearly good enough for the morale and so on to actually be able to defeat us. So I will be able to liberate this uh, castle from him and uh, it will be quite in his very, um, it, will, it will suit me, uh, although I might have to actually declare war on the, the Venetians unless I'm able to secure some sort of um, agreement to move through this land, their lands. But him losing the fort and me not having to fight a huge army in here would be very, very good. Ah, so the rain stopped now. Yeah, I see. Fire! And fire misfire issues. won't be a certainty. But I think my men will be coming into your cannon range pretty darn soon. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. Here come the Italian. They haven't fired yet. Make sure I'm not too tired as I move up. My cannons are not firing. No idea why. I think it's just the angle of it. I think the a the angle of the cannon was just um, we would just sort of um, since the angle of the cannon is sort of towards more of the town over there rather than towards the soldiers. Although I do believe that cannon sort of facing us right now will be able to fire on us. In 
I'll um, station the general back here, the general unit. We'll move two units in front to fire on the guys on the wall. And the third one will try to get in through the through the breach. And let's get this show on the road. They should be able to fire that cannon right about now. Yeah, yeah, they. Looks Maybe like they, they are, are not able to. Uh, oh, it looks like he's going ahead and loading. Or he's taking his time. There we go. Boom. <laughs> oh, about that. The first casualties. I've lost about three soldiers. Uh, a bit more now. Our general is under attack. But now we return fire and kill the first enemy soldier here. He's redrawing his men, or they're moving around, but still they're manning the cannons. Firing right I must say, there. I don't like sieges in Napoleon. Uh, pretty buggy. Yeah, it is um, a bit uh, messy with the pathfinding on the walls. I'm not. I'm not doing as much progress as I thought I would. Right now we're losing way too many soldiers compared with what he's losing. So I might just go ahead and charge and claim the inner courtyard for myself. Since he's still got most of his soldiers up there on the floor. Watch up these two to cover and the general. Brave Venetians onwards! on through. Just move the now the general the general will have to move him up a bit to see if the morale of him will actually help in this situation. Move him up a bit closer there. I'm surprised that they didn't actually It's armed citizenry or armed yeah, armed citizenry just a mob but still they're performing better than uh, the militia units and at this point I can't really send in any more soldiers into this area mm. the next obvious step would be to claim more of the Claim more of the wall to gain on secondary access to be able to move in around the flank. We can have this unit moving in through the wall.
Hard fighting. Yes. Our men are running for us. Looks as though most there are more of my soldiers dead than there are of the enemy. Which is not very encouraging. I'll be able to take up position. Oh you here. sneaky snake. Yes, I've claimed the wall. Don't seem to be, don't seem to want to fire. Let's move them into a more orderly position here. See if they can fire through this. There we go, now some shots are going to go off. Ah, oh, he's charging up. To face them on the wall up there. When that leaves, I'm gonna wait a bit till they'll, they're surely gonna move up. Oh, he's moving up a second one. I was hoping to move through, since the gate is now mine, I could move through, possibly take this house. I'm not sure where these guys are. They're also charging up, so I will still be able to. Possibly charge through. Oh, looks like your guy are ch guys are charging straight into the wall. I'm a bit confused right now. I can't, I can't stand these scenes. It's so funny. I seem to be able to putting down some good fire over there. We are winning on that battle. Let's make sure that most of his men bug their way up here. And I think most of them are engaged. So we can move this unit straight through now. Oh, and it's going a lot better up here now. You can see that this unit is taking quite a lot of damage compared with what ours are doing. Oh, we actually broke one of the units up there. And seeing this, we'll charge in and break this one. This weaker one over here. And then we're engaged in melee over there as well, so there's a lot of melee fight going on. And although we did work quite badly in the first melee charge we did, I think we're all over doing a lot better in this one. This, these guys are still fight, doing some hard fighting up here. These guys are doing good fight over here. And over here, uh, we've got quite a good fight if they weren't so bunched up, my guys. Looks like they're about to just push through the enemy and just split that unit up and it broke and the general unit broke and, and this battle looks about right. and there we go the Venetians have captured the castle close victory
And here we're back at the the battle result. You lost all of your men. They were captured within the fortress. And the Austrians lost about a third of their force. I was just thinking as well. <laughs> uh, I should... Ah, uh, oh, Napoleon's back. I should also mention that uh, my other campaign, the the Shogun one, that I've actually managed to now complete the Rise of the Samurai and is moving on to the normal Shogun one and as of now I'm looking for suggestions as well uh, on which faction people think I should play of the uh, the different factions you can choose from from the normal uh, in the normal Shogun campaign So we're gonna go ahead here as well. Um, go ahead and destroy the uh, Sardinian Piedmonts. And McCabe also chooses to outresolve it. He doesn't really stand a chance in that battle. And it seems foolish to waste time on it. And we completely destroy them, and we can now freely move on to the last area here. Ooh, they got quite an army here, actually, of line infantry. I wasn't actually expe uh, expecting that, which is kind of a problem. So we're just going to go ahead and fall back. And... We're going to move up these guys to join their army. And also, seeing that his replenishment rate is going a lot faster than mine, I'm actually going to take this entire army and I'm going to redraw it back to gain a higher rate of resupply. So we can properly resupply. They actually didn't help a lot. Uh, a lot of units still have slow, but a few of them gained moderate uh, resupply rate. Might want to have some more cavalry, might be useful. So I'm going to recruit two units of cavalry. And Napoleon's moving up. Units being recruited. Buildings constructed. Constructed. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for this. Might actually, they're pretty friendly. Might seem if I can ally with the, the, the Geonese, or whatever you would like to call them. The city of Genoa. Request ally. They are an ally of my enemy. Oh, they're actually allied with Sardinia Piedmont. So let's see about Parma then. Does Parma want an alliance? They are also allied with my enemy, so that's not possible. Um, these guys are actually even more friendly, and they're only allied with these guys. So we can see about requesting alliance with these people. Um, let's see how that works. Regular, yeah. I wouldn't really think they would agree to that. Maybe, actually, I need to move against Austria now while they're weak before you manage to. So I can see about actually going uh, going for some sort of peace agreement with these guys. And. Request trade would be part of it. And request alliance as well. See if they agree with that. Rarely has a glorious nation been assaulted without hesitation. Well, I might just keep on the fighting them. And yeah, McCabe, I think I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and switch right. it over to you. Sounds good. Ah uh, yes, uh, we were supposed to split it about halfway through, 
And I sort of forgot about time, but I believe we've roughly reached that moment. So uh, this will be the end of the Friday episode. Half an hour one. And we'll see you All for right. the rest of this uh, on Saturday. So yeah, I hope you enjoy uh, yeah. up to this point, the little battle we had in the castle and so on. And yeah, yeah we'll see yeah, you on... Please like and comment. Yeah, we'll see you on Saturday. And don't forget to uh, give your comment about what faction I will be playing on the Shogun campaign. Um, on that video, not on this one. Well, you can comment on this one as well if you want to. Uh, but yeah, uh, and that's about it. So we'll see you for the rest of this recording on Saturday. Bye. What if?